Maria isn't just playing a computer game. Researchers are tracking her gaze in hopes of helping other kids, those with a condition called specific language impairment. It's often identified when children are slow to talk and continue to be slow in their language development uh, in the absence of these other disabilities. Like autism or hearing impairment. Specific language impairment, or SLI, affects 5 to 10 percent of children. You know, they're functional. They're, they're talking and, you know, they're performing okay, not usually well in school, but they're surviving school. Um, but this is a real serious deficit in language processing and, and something that, continu that needs uh, to be addressed uh, because obviously it's sort of limiting their language abilities. Schwartz uses eye tracking technology to glimpse inside a child's mind. A small strip underneath the monitor shines infrared light onto Maria's cornea and records the reflection of that light to track where on the screen she's looking. In this trial, she hears a word Turtle. and then clicks on that image. Where she looks as she hears a sound, even for a millisecond, reveals something about the word associations her brain makes. Mouth. Gaze data can reveal differences between typically developing children like Maria and her peers with SLI. If Maria hears the word cat and spends some of her time looking at milk, it might indicate those words are associated for her. Her eye patterns also reveal associations of associations. Say the target word is log. When you hear the word log, you activate a word like lock. You also may activate the word key because it's related to lock. And we want to see if children have this lexical organization in their, in their brain that when they hear the word log, they activate things that sound, that start in the same way as log, but also things that are then semantically related. But children with specific language impairment don't activate all those related words. And it explains why they perform more poorly at sentence comprehension or vocabulary comprehension. Uh, and that also gives us this indication of uh, what they may need more of in intervention. Eye tracking offers researchers a window into the mind. A child's gaze speaks volumes, even when words fail.